What happens when you drop the Titanic onto the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah, that's not really a normal experiment, but today you're going to find out. This video is part science, part chaos, and a 100% something you've never seen before. So stick around because the results are spectacular. If you're new here, I'm Michael, and my channel usually focuses on earthquake simulations. Basically, I'm showing people how buildings and entire cities would react to seismic shaking. But sometimes, I like to take a detour. That's how I ended up with this idea. Take two of the largest 3D models I've ever worked with, the RMS Titanic and the Brooklyn Bridge, and smash them together inside Blender. The Titanic is about 269 meters long, or almost three football fields. The Brooklyn Bridge's main span is about 486 meters. Both are giants of engineering, and both of them are about to have a really bad day. Now, if you've ever tried working with huge 3D models in Blender, especially in the older version, I use Blender 2.79, I know, some people might say this is ancient. Well, you'll know it's not exactly a smooth process. These models are massive. Titanic alone is made up of hundreds of thousands of polygons. And the Brooklyn Bridge? Even more, because for Brooklyn Bridge, there's just so many cables, and all these cables are literally split in hundreds of cylinders and spheres. And you know, like in Blender, a cylinder basically has, uh, I don't know, like 20 times more faces than a regular cube. Loading them into the same scene was like asking my computer to carry two elephants on its back. Blender fought me the entire way. It crashed. It froze. At one point, I thought I might just give up forever. To get about 15 seconds of footage, I had to spread the work across multiple computers. Hours of baking physics, reloading, re-rendering, all for what you're about to see. But honestly, it was worth every minute. The funny thing about these experiments is, no matter how much you plan, the final crash always surprises you. The tiniest setting. Friction, damping, density, mass scaling, breaking thresholds, and infinite other parameters can completely change the outcome. But eventually, after all the tweaking and waiting, the stage was set. A ship versus a suspension bridge. One chance to see what happens. Are you guys ready to see the simulation results? Here's a moment of truth.
Well, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just woke up and the computers have been running for at least five hours now, rendering the simulation results and I'm just, I'm nervous watching them. Um, oh my God, I see them. Oh my, it's, it's right there. I think, I think I saw something. Where is it? I don't see it falling. What's happening? Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God, I see it. No, 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 I can't look. I can't look. Do you guys see anything? I, I, I just can't look. What, 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 what am I looking at? I don't know what am I looking at. Oh my God, now I'm like curious to see the other angles. So these are just two computers. Uh, let's see. Let's see the other ones. Let's see the other ones. What happened there? <sighs> Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, so this is actually a fun one because I've, I've made this camera move around so that we get an even better look at what happens um, when the Titanic collapses, uh, when the Titanic falls on the bridge. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Yeah, I don't need I don't need an antivirus. I, I don't I don't need protection because I, I don't even use the internet on this computer. These are just extra computers that I never connect to the internet. I just use these three computers for rendering stuff. That's all I need. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so there's one more computer. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I see the file. Oh, <laughs> just need to open it. Oh, look at the shadow. Oh my God, that's, oh, <laughs> that was so cool. Let me, let me go back. This is actually a really fun angle because I really like the bridge's reflection in the water and it's, Shadow, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Just imagine seeing this in reality. <laughs> oh my. It, it, th this, this got pulverized, man. I don't know how to say it. It's just like, there's so much momentum energy that everything just disappears. <laughs> It just disappears. It, it's like the whole thing explodes. Well, it's time for a little update. Um, I'm just so pissed off right now uh, because I have to use um, an older version of Blender. I've been trying to simulate what would happen if Titanic dropped onto the Brooklyn Bridge and I just get so many crashes. like. I really can't figure out what's going on. Either Blender doesn't like the fact that I have so many textures added or too many, too many polygons or I, 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 I just don't know. But like, I really want to make this work. I think it would be something that, <laughs> that you guys would enjoy. But what you're not really gonna see in this video um, is the fact that it's been at least a week since I've been trying to make this work. And I'm really pissed off right now. Like imagine that you spend a week of your life trying to make something work and it doesn't work. And then you're kind of left off uh, thinking, is this really worth it? Like, should I just try a new idea? Or like, am I too stupid? Like, what, what am I trying to do, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to experiment. I, I, I love I love simulations. I love what you can do in Blender, but at the same time, it's like sometimes things just don't work and I need to be super patient. So what's the moral of the story? To be completely honest, I would say just don't do destruction simulations in Blender because I've just wasted two weeks of my life.
If the Titanic ever reappears in the sky over Manhattan, the Brooklyn Bridge is not the place you want to be. This was one of the strangest, most fun simulations I've ever done, and it gave me a whole new respect for just how powerful simulations can be in Blender, even when it's pushed to the breaking point. Now I want to hear from you. What kind of other bizarre simulations should I try next? Maybe dropping the Eiffel Tower onto the Golden Gate Bridge, or maybe hitting a skyscraper with an asteroid? Well, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my next big experiment. Until then, this is Michael from Earthquake Sim, signing off. Was that an earthquake?